Hi everyone. So today we are going to discuss about the how to create an invoice by using AD FDA template or spreadsheet. So once we get into application as a business user, so navigate to accounts payable functional area and select invoice tab. Go to taskbar. Click on second tab that is nothing but as create invoice from spreadsheet. So click on open file. Maximize the folder and click on enable. Say okay. I want to say yes. See, once you provide your login credentials by the user, this is nothing but as a SaaS application where you are going to enter into the SaaS application level. And uh, AD FDI is interlink between your SaaS application. That is one of the good advantages of the this task where the business users can use this particular task to create invoices quickly rather than going by manually. So it will be helpful for them to reduce their manual efforts to create invoices by manual one by one, right? So that's where we can use this automation tool, nothing but as a ADBDI. Just provide your user ID and password. Say okay, sign on, and wait for some time to open the your file. Just say skip. It will invoke all the tables or columns, the sheet. So this is how the the front page will looks like. All the information of the invoice. So if you go and observe this, all the fields which is there on the screen right now. The same majority columns will be there on your front end invest screen. So that is how we can understand this task also. So here, wherever you see star, star symbol, those fields are mandatory, which is supposed to provide the information by the business user. And rest of fields are is a optional fields, which is not that much of mandatory to provide the information. If at all the business users wants to provide some information to capture yes they can use the option fields also to provide the additional information but for our demo purpose is not required so we just can go by all the mandatory fields here so invoice header identifier is a unique number which we need to provide and business unit as i mentioned this is all the interlink between your SaaS application. That's where you can see all the business unit which is available in the application. If it is real time, when you work with the client, it will be displayed only the specific business unit which is associated with your client process. So select US business unit one, import set. So ideally import set is not that much of mandatory here, but when it will be in, it would be important is that Whenever we are going to import AP invoices by third party applications, by that time, it's supposed to be required. It's a mandatory field over there to provide it, or else it will throw some kind of errors, or there is some other process also which will be impact on that. So, that we'll discuss in the upcoming sessions. And provide the invoice number, say October 12, 23. Currency. Just you can set currency from the list of values or you can provide the manually also. Invest amount. Let's say example hundred dollars. Invest date. Today's date is 12 October 2023. Supplier. So whenever you see this open and close bracket of any columns in the ADB template, it means that we need to double click and get the information information from the application, which will connect internally between your, your SaaS application. Just say double click here.
select supplier name or number if you are aware of it or you can provide any key information of the supplier name and click on search the system will identify the suppliers select abc consulting is a supplier say okay so now supplier and supplier number got and move on supplier side i can double click on this see if you are let's say example if this particular supplier has the multiple supply sites so in this case how the business users can smartly select the res uh, respective site value go click on here select as is not a blank address also similarly is not blank and click on search so in this search you can get all the open sited which we have for this supplier we can see all the sites here now this supplier site i mean this supplier has only one site that's where it is coming up only one site here just say okay select and say okay payment currency if you want you can provide a payment currency or is not, not required just you can keep it as a blank and uh, select invest type here the list of values you can see standard debit memo and credit memo these are the three things can be created by using this spreadsheet so we are going to create only standard invoice and a description is not a mandatory but we can provide as a demo invoice and line see up to key column these fields are comes under the your invoice header information and from here see a column onwards it is comes as a inverse line level information that is one of the key point which you need to understand the real time so line number is a one which is associated with your header level inverse details and type line type is what so we would select here either miscellaneous expenses or item or stacks and freight so based on the business user they can select it so keep it as a standard as a item and here provide the line level information as under dollars because we are going to use or create only one inverse line for this supplier right and supplier purchase order and lines if at all you want to use any other information you can use it or you can keep it as a blank and here you can see cs column distribution combination if you want to provide distribution combination here itself yes that is possible by double clicking on this field we can provide the information but it is not required at, at present here so we can keep it as a blank and these are the fees is not that much of mandatory and see all the information we provided or not so once you feel comfortable i mean it as a business user then go and click on save and submit invoice import tab the moon when i go and click on this one so it will take it through next level of the action say okay here you notice that row status is row of inserted and business in it so this is one of the intrigue question also somebody uh, which they can ask this kind of questions also the question would be like so the business in it is important or is a mandatory field or option field while we import invoices through you by using spreadsheet the answer is no it's not a mandatory field since it's not a mandatory also if you want to specifically import this invoice in the specific business unit yes that is possible go and select a business unit from the list of values yes one business unit and source so source is the mandatory which already got the, the field got grayed out because we are using the spreadsheet right and inverse group if you want to capture any additional information of this 
import yes that is possible you can provide here accounting date if you want to use this field you can provide the accounting date as well as now it is not required just keep it as a blank and click on submit take request id navigate to application go to navigator under tools schedule process here you can see all it got succeed the process id so now if you want to see that if the invoice has been created created or not created just go and click on here import payable invoice report If you want to download the PDF copy of the report, yes, you can go and click on republish. Or if you want to see the immediately that information here, just go and click on output hyperlink. Come down here, scroll down. Here you can see. This is how we can create invoices here. This report will tell us either the invoice got created or not. Here you can see payables open interface audit report. This is the standard report which is given by the Oracle where you can see all the information of the invoices. This is the previous invoice which I have created and current invoice which we imported, right? So that also we can see here. We come here and see. This is open payable interface report. No data phone. So if something went wrong, then we can see this kind of message here, right? So now our inverse got created. Now, if you want to see from the backend, how the invest has been created or not created. Go to reports and analytics, and uh, you can write the PLSQL. Select here. I already given the interface one. Select the particular code. Click on data. Click on view. See here, I can see all the information of the invoices. This time, table view. Take invoice number. Go to diagram. Edit. Right, next query here says that where inverse number equal to what we have given iPhone. We have provided inverse number as October 12th is the one. Select, save, okay. Click on data view see this is how we can notice that either our invoice has been created or not so now which we have created the invoice from the spreadsheet it got loaded with the application you can notice here invoice number invoice id and invoice type is that which you got picked from the lookup codes as a standard and vendor name vendor number vendor id and vendor site id and uh, invoice number here you can see that sorry invoice amount 
finance amount and currency everything captured here here you can see description as a demo invoice so this is how we can create or write a simple sql queries also to understand it no need to go to go back to your technical team to understand these things and all by using this sample i would say like you know standard uh, tables you can see all the information right so now go back to your uh, application click on invoice click on recent refresh It will take a while to display that our invoice here. Or if you want, you can go and click on date and search it. How many invoices were created here today? You'll see that information. Yes, here you notice that October 12, 23. This is the invoice. Oh, this is the another one. Okay, still that is not came here. It will take a while. But we we have already seen here which got created in the back and right so says that this is the one now someone is 100 so it will take a time to update from the back end to front end. Yeah, now we can, okay, this is again different one. So we'll see what is the last number. Yes, October. Yeah, so this is how we can create a invoice by using spreadsheet. So it is very, very useful information to the business users as a automation kind of tool where you can use this spreadsheet to import invoices with minimal manual efforts and accurate information. It really helpful for the business users in the real time where they're going to use this kind of approaches. Yeah. That's all. Thanks for watching my video. Please do subscribe and uh, Keep post your open questions if you have any so that I will answer those things when I get a time. Thank you.